Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bridge from the Past. I'm your host, Mary, and this series is all about using images as a starting point to think about important topics in American history and civics. Today, we're going to the National Archives Building in Washington, D.C. How does the symbolism on the outside of the National Archives Building tell us about the importance of what's inside? Let's jump in and see. Here's our starting image. We're looking at the National Archives Building in Washington, D.C. This is the main entrance on Constitution Avenue, and we're thinking about what the symbolism on the outside of the building can tell us about the archives' purpose and the importance of what's inside of the National Archives. Whenever you have an image, it's important to just take a moment and make some observations before you can go anywhere with your analysis. If you're using the handout that came with this video, pause here and make some observations of your own. Here are some things that I notice. First of all, we're in Washington, D.C. once again. So Washington, D.C. is home to a lot of monumental architecture, and we've looked at some of these things on Bridge from the Past, like the Lincoln Memorial, the Capitol Building, the Supreme Court Building. So all of these buildings are large, they're almost temple-like, there's elements of classical architecture built into them, and this National Archives facade is no different. I'm immediately noticing lots of columns, 72 columns all around the building to be precise, I have this triangular pediment at the top that looks a lot like the Lincoln Memorial. I can see there are carvings in the pediment. I can see there are eagles on top of the building. There are these little medallions all the way around the building. I'd have to go up a lot of steps to get to the entrance. And if I wanted to go inside, which you definitely should if you're ever in Washington, D.C., I can see these very large monumental doors. So the location, the size, the scale, the elements of Greece and Rome in the building itself are all telling me that this is a monument similar to the Lincoln Memorial, similar to the Jefferson Memorial and other memorials that you would see in Washington, DC. Let's look a little bit closer at some of the statues outside of the building. Once again, I'm in front of the Constitution Avenue entrance and there you would see two statues. We have guardianship here and heritage. So these are large statues. They're on the corner of the entrance to the building. And I can see that guardianship is male. He's got this really fierce kind of look on his face. He looks very strong. He's got a sword and he's got a helmet. So all of this brings up ideas of strength, of courage, of protection in front of this building. Heritage, by contrast, is female. She is holding a baby on one side, perhaps not how we would actually hold a baby, but she's holding a baby. And there are some pieces of wheat in one hand with this baby. And on the other hand, in the other hand, she is holding an urn. So here you have this idea of heritage of the past, right? The ashes of the past generations in this urn, plus what's to come, right? The promise of the future, a baby of youth, of wheat that will eventually be harvested. So you have these symbols out front of the building. The other entrance on Pennsylvania Avenue, we have two more statues. You have past and future. So past is an older gentleman. He doesn't have any hair on top of his head. He has facial hair. He's holding a scroll and he's also holding a book. Future, on the other hand, is female. So again, we have male and female figures. She's much more youthful. She's also holding a book, but her book is open. This symbolism I love. We have the past of what is done, what is completed, and the future, what has yet to be written. So we have past, future, you know, protection, strength, all of these symbols outside the National Archives. What's inside the building? Well, in the main chamber of the National Archives is the Rotunda for the Charters of Freedom. In other words, you have the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights in one location. So this building is very much a temple. It's enshrining these founding documents. Right? Our country is based on these promises of natural rights, of limited government, and it's a place to show the importance of these things. So it not only houses these founding documents, these charters of freedom, but it also holds permanent records from Congress and the Supreme Court and other 
federal agencies. So this idea of protection of strength of what's to come, what has already transpired are all coming together at the National Archives. I started by asking you what the symbolism on the outside of the National Archives building gave a, how it gave us clues about the purpose of the building and what it holds inside. When it was dedicated in 1933 and the cornerstone was laid, President Herbert Hoover called it a temple of our history and an expression of the American soul, an expression of the American character. That's a, those are some pretty you know, important words about this building and what it holds inside. So now I would like to turn it over to you. What do you think? What would you add if you had to add a symbol to the National Archives building? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you learned something, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you'll be in the know about other videos, resources, and contests to help you throughout the year. I'll be back soon with another image to help us think about important topics in history and civics. Until then, everybody, whenever you see an image, keep asking questions. Take care. Oh no, the video's over. Oh, come on, don't be so sad. Don't you know that the Bill of Rights Institute has tons of videos on American history, government, and civics? From primary source document breakdowns to historical image analysis, whether you're studying for a test or just interested in learning more, they've got something for you. Oh, well in that case, I better check out this video. And don't forget to subscribe so you aren't so sad again.